Welcome back to Berm Peak. I'm Seth, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little different, but kind of the same, and you're gonna find out why. Now that it's been about three weeks since the injury and the surgery, I'm starting physical therapy. I can hobble around a little bit, but I'm still very hampered by these crutches, and today I wanna to upgrade to this shiny new Knee Rover. But first, I wanna show you how I've been getting around and what type of limitations I have. Okay, so let's say I'm sitting down at my computer desk and I wanna get up and go over there. Crutches are easy. I'm gonna kinda put all my weight on this foot, get up on the crutches, and then I can start walking over there. Except, if I wanna bring this water bottle, now what do I do? This is kinda how I've been doing it. I try to kinda hold on to it while I'm doing a crutch, and if it's anything more than a water bottle, it's really inhibiting. Now with the Knee Rover, we could put some kind of storage on it and I could carry a laptop, I need my medicine, I need my phone and all that. So the mods we're doing today to the Knee Rover are gonna make it more practical for me to get around. So the Knee Rover provides a smoother kind of mobility for me. Let me show you how it works. So you get on the Knee Rover and you scoot along. Way smoother, way easier than the crutches, less strenuous. So this is a huge improvement, but Coming from bicycling and seeing that a lot of this is bike parts, it's got a head tube, it's got wheels and all that, I know it could be better. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So when I mentioned I'd be doing a Knee Rover upgrades video, people were like, you're gonna put a dual crown fork on it, you're gonna put big wheels, brush guard, recovery hooks. Look, I need to use this to get around. This is my reality, so I'm gonna be dead serious about this thing. We're only doing things that are practical, they're actually gonna make it better. So this is gonna be a very serious video. So with that, we gotta start with carbon bars. So, ah, there's no stem on this, so we can't just put a stem and attach some bars to it. We're gonna have to do some fabricating. So let's take this all apart first. See if I can get these, these grips off of here, because I gotta get to these. So, we are left with the original Knee Rover handlebars. You can see they don't have much rise or sweep to them. Not gonna be very good downhill. Also, they're pretty narrow. Okay, these are 400 millimeter bars. That's actually pretty good because we want them to be narrow enough to get through doorways and through the house with ease. And you might be thinking, how am I going to attach those bars? Well. Did a little bit of poking around with a caliper. It is the perfect diameter to put on a mountain bike stem. So all we have to do is saw this part off. I wanna make it look legit, so we're gonna put a star washer and everything in here so we can have a stem cap. Oh yeah. This goes right on. This gets installed like that. Let's get it good and snug. We've gotta put these handlebars on, but first I've gotta cut them down because they're way too wide. I'm not gonna be able to get through doorways and in and out of bathrooms and things with these. Oh yeah, that looks wrong. These are so short that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get grips and levers on it. So I might have to put the lock on grips on and have them kind of hang off the end a little bit. Again, it doesn't need to like sustain a 50 foot drop, so it's not a big deal, but yeah, I should have thought about that. Oh. Ah. So, I am going to adjust the length of these cables, because yeah, these cables are <laughs> way too long. So we're gonna fix those up, but let's see how much room I have for grip. <laughs> All right, if I stick these lock-on grips on, I mean, that's fine. Now they're way wider though. Eh, it'll still fit through a doorway, right? Yeah, this feels good, yeah. Let's run it. It's a freaking knee rover. I don't think I'm gonna be sending any jumps with this anytime soon. So next up, I wanna shorten these cables because no reason for these cables to be flopping around everywhere. It's craziness. You can see it's got these mechanical brakes that push directly on the wheels to stop them from spinning. Pretty primitive, but it's a knee scooter. Let's get these disconnected. All right, so we're just gonna shorten these up so that there's just a little slack, not tons of it. Yeah, that looks good. That's about where I want them. Now we have to start adding the things that are gonna make this more functional for me to get around the house and do my job. This is a Knee Rover brand basket. I was probably on all sorts of painkillers and stuff when I ordered this because I could have ordered any basket. It didn't have to come from the Knee Rover dealership. You know, obviously they wreck you at the Knee Rover dealership. You buy a Knee Rover and they think that you're just made of money. Okay, 
goes on here. It's nice and snug. It's got a low center of gravity. This ain't bad. I can carry stuff around. Now, if somebody is coming my way, I wanna be able to let them know that I'm coming. I think this is gonna fit just fine. Yeah, this is perfect. All right, I don't wanna crowd this thing up too much, but I'm always carrying a water bottle or coffee or something. And so this cup holder that I found on Amazon, it'd be unfit for, well, anything but a wheeled vehicle that you would put a cup holder on. You wouldn't put a cup holder on a bicycle unless it was like a beach cruiser. So let's, let's experiment with it. Maybe that's the ticket. These designs make you wonder, like what are they thinking? Couldn't they have used like, I don't know, technology that already exists, like a hose clamp or something? Guess you get what you pay for. If I got the one from the Knee Rover dealership, it would have been super nice. Let's give that a try. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is secure. Couple more things we gotta address. So, one of the things that's really annoyed me about this thing when I'm trying to get around are the knock blockers. It's like a trek. It limits the steering. Now, it does limit the steering for good reason. So the rear wheels here are very narrow. They're only a few inches apart. So if you were to steer too much, this thing would topple over. You know, there are people of various athletic abilities using this, let's say. So I'm just gonna chalk it up as people who don't know what they're doing need those knock blockers. I think we can get rid of them. If you pull this down, it frees up and you can steer as far as you want, but it's spring loaded. So I'm thinking that we can do a non-permanent solution right here with a zip tie. We can push this down cinch that zip tie down and yeah it clears the knock blockers now so that's a good solution totally reversible oh it's gonna be nice for this thing to steer nice and tight what do you think of a nice berm peak sticker right here that's the perfect spot for a berm peak sticker so let's get another berm peak sticker up on the head tube oh yeah now we got ourselves a knee scooter is there anything else i do have this smart tail light from Raz Pro. I haven't checked it out yet. Attaches to the saddle. Looks like it's got a little USB charger. That's super nice. Let's see if it's got any power in it. Ooh. Yeah, if I find myself making my way from a store through a parking lot at night or something, I know it's a stretch. Let's see if we can hook this up back here. I think we can actually zip tie it into place here. This is actually more secure than you might think. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. So now all that's left to do is test it out. I think it's got all the things I need. It can hold a drink, it can hold stuff. I can tell people to get out of my way. They can see me in the dark if I'm out on the highway. All right, let's try it out. Yo. So what I love about this thing is that it feels like a bike, kinda. Anytime I get on something with handlebars, whether it's a scooter or something like this, I'm like, you know, the grip should be better, there should be more sweep, it should feel like a bike. I get on this, there's a mountain bike cockpit right here, I got mountain bike grips, and I just feel right at home. It's also, we've snugged up the cables and made it so it's not rattling around, so it just feels more mechanically sound, and I like that. The knock blockers being gone, huge upgrade as well, and I haven't had any problems with flipping it. Being able to just carry a water bottle around, that's gonna be a game changer, and then if I have some other stuff that I need to bring someplace, I can just stick it in this basket. All right, I overdid it today. I gotta get back on the couch. I'm really excited for this upgraded knee rover. We did some practical upgrades and some things that I think are just fun. But today I have something else very exciting to announce and that is the addition of microgram jerseys on Cognitive MTB. I'm talking about little, little kids. I'm talking about balance bikes, toddlers. We have jerseys in their size that are just as comfortable and just as high quality as the adult ones. We also have zip up hoodies, hats, all sorts of new stuff, most of which we've added due to customer requests. So follow the link below, check out our new merch. We are really honestly trying to make active wear that's comfortable, unique, and that you're just gonna wanna put on every single day. You deserve it, so click the link below and check out all the new stuff we have on Cognitive MTB. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is our second channel, Burn Peak Express. We do all sorts of extra weird things here. If you enjoy it, make sure you subscribe. 
Thanks for riding me today. I'll see you next time. So between the garage and the house is a step. I think I can fast plant it. Ah, oh, okay. All right, I gotta get some speed. Yeah, let me try. Wasn't smooth and I'm not gonna try it again.